Folks, it's Thursday. Welcome aboard Cacophony Edition. We're glad you could make it. If this is your first time here, sit on down. You're in for a real treat. If you've been here before, thanks for returning. Don't forget, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy some cool crap like a phone case, a blanket, a throw pillow, or even a duvet cover, check out our shop. Most importantly, if you want to be on this show, Tuesdays is our talk show. Every other Saturday, one shot. M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Uh, hit us up and we will try and get you on this Saturday. Three brand new murder hobos and Heidi uh, will cruise the nice. coastline. That's what they're going to do. They're going to cruise the coastline. Uh, shout out to our sponsors. If you want some personalized dice like these, Big red and the crystal clear uh, at Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, hit them up on Twitter. Uh, see what you want. See if they can do it. Uh, most of the time they can. Uh, do they want to? Eh, maybe, maybe not. Hard to say. <laughs> but don't forget if your game stinks, not like ours. Ours smells like roses and chocolate. Uh, get some adventure scents by oddfishgames.com. Uh, these little beauties will make your game smell a whole lot better, even when you stink. Uh, so give that a shot. Uh, they also make the shine system. So if you want to learn how to write gooder, uh, check out the shine system. And coming soon, the Kickstarter, how to RPG with your cat. As soon as we know, you will know as well. That being said, uh, this is the Cacophony Edition. Let's introduce you to the folks. Uh, you know, David gets screwed over a lot. We'll start with it. David, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm David. Um, yeah, I play Zadar on Cacophony. That's who I'll be playing tonight. Uh, <laughs> Arcane Trickster slash Wizard Rogue. So, <laughs> well, Arcane Tr Trickster Rogue. Anyway. Uh, I play him. I also play in the Calamity campaigns. I play uh, Ingbe, the Raven Gen, and I also play Crow in the yeah Toad Town ones. So uh, the B side, the B sides. So and you could also find me usually on Tuesdays on Between the Rolls. So I usually have something to say. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, in spite of her shirt, uh, she's in for a long night. Caitlin, who are you? Who do you play? I love my shirt. It's great. But you're going to get the shit damaged out of you tonight. <laughs> great. Just wait. So I'm Caitlin. I play Daphne, the Tiefling Paladin, and our ongoing long soap opera. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not a campaign. Yeah, nope, not a campaign. Not. It's just a story that keeps going, you know. <laughs> hey, Never soon you're going to meet story. Mortimer again. <laughs> Wait. Soon you're going to meet Mortimer J. Sneed again. Oh, gosh, yeah. Assuming you live and I don't damage your squishiness. Uh, last but certainly not least, normally behind the camera, tonight behind the camera and in front of the camera, Carrie. Carrie, who are you? Who do you play? My name is Carrie. I'm married to the DM. Everyone pity me. Uh, <laughs> You're on mute, nice. right? Yes. Uh, so I play Camille, a wizard necromancer, and then I also play on the B side in Calamity. And... I do some dice and that's about it. There you go. Folks, uh, this is the Calamity Campaign slash soap opera slash ongoing portrait of misery. Uh, when we left them last time, the last two episodes, as a matter of fact, they uh, left terra firma for the clouds in order to get to the Grand Academy to see their old friend Mortimer J. Sneed en route uh, their old friend arrow smith gnome pilot of an airship uh did not account for three voracious appetites and he has had to set down in order to gain some supplies because Bono is a very big blue ocean fortunately they found a cloud containing a mansion on it uh upon further inspection it was discovered that two cloud giants, Meme and Ina, recently won the 
substantial building and grounds uh, from a different air elemental creature, a djinn, uh, during a card game. They were, the crowd, the party was unexpectedly uh, tasked with a home inspection tour. Uh, me and Ina had uh, already made arrangements, but the party got there first. So the arrangements are, they do a home inspection, they get food, water, and other supplies. So they volunteered uh last time <laughs> last time they made it through the first floor uh which was giant size uh second floor uh, which is the basement not so much uh while the, while the furnishings on the main floor were rather opulent uh the basement is just like everybody else's basement just a real shithole uh they found themselves dealing with a coaddle yeah coaddle yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, flying snake uh and a few other things uh including some animated armor when last we left they opened a door that said knock three times and quickly discovered an air elemental was forming in this otherwise non-storied building. Uh, the initiative rolls went with Daphne casting, uh, what did you cast on yourself? Not Bless, but something else. Wait, what I casted? Yeah. Uh, it's something uh, like gosh. bless for you, but I can't remember what it was. Did I do bless? I have yeah. bless. You did not do bless. You cast something specifically on yourself. Mm. <laughs> she can't remember. <laughs> yeah, you cast something on yourself. Uh, A channel of divinity? Is that still on? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, Camille, she decided to parlay with the air elemental, and Zadar opted to back out like Peter oh, Griffin. Divine favor. That's it, divine favor. Uh, with those three going, that brings us to the air elemental's turn. As you guys look in and start to back away, you notice the intensity of the cyclone is, well, intensifying. Okay. And the wind begins to buffet each of you. Everybody roll a DC 13 versus strength. All right. Sorry, right, we're doing strength? Mm -hmm. Strength. 17. Got 18. <laughs> 12! Uh, Daphne is buffeted out of the room, across the hall, into the wall, and she is going to take... 3d8 plus Whoa. 2 and be knocked prone this for the next round. Uh, hang on, Daphne. You're squishy. <laughs> How many hit points did you have when you started this? 42. <laughs> uh, minus 20. <laughs> 7, Ouch. 7, 4 plus 2. New round. Daphne, uh, go ahead and try and stand up with another strength check. Uh, 20, not natural. Very good. You managed to pick yourself up, dust yourself <laughs> off, and you're ready to go for the next round. Uh, next up is Camille. Camille, what do you want to do this round? It wouldn't talk to me. It doesn't appear to be in the mood for conversation. Is everybody behind me? Uh, Daphne certainly is. <laughs> um, I cast Pulse Wave. Ooh, against an air elemental. Very good. Uh, remind me, do I get a saving throw on that one? Uh, I, I think, think I so. Do. Yeah. Da, 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 da. What kind of damage is Pulse Wave? 66. Buffeting. Uh, what is your saving throw? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have your character with me. Constitution saving throw. Fuck it. We'll roll and see if I'm close. I'm not going to be close. 
uh, 11. So I am not going to make that saving throw. One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot of dice. Yeah, not all of it's going to count. So six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen. That's a shit roll. And eighteen. Eighteen hit points of damage. You see some disruption in its airflow. Uh, the debris really starts to kick up that little fine sandy silt that was on the floor. Uh, that's going to cause some problems. Zidar, you're up. Okay, I will cast... Dun, dun, dun. Uh, chromatic Orb. Okay. Uh, Nat 20. Okay. Huh? Okay, and it is going to be... Uh, wow. Because, I mean, with that crit, crit, mod I mean, yeah, damage, damage, modifier. Uh, 30 not, not, not with spells. Oh, n seriously? Oh, uh, okay. The melee attacks only. Okay, so what does a nat 20 do with a spell? Nothing. Oh, okay. Well, are you casting it? What level are you casting it at? Oh, I was casting it at the uh, first level. Okay. I think it's, like, just the most accurate spell casting possible that's right mm -hmm. yeah you got it right in the center yeah I you hit you, you hit helen hunt oh okay all right so it is gonna take 14 points of frost damage that will slow it down a bit nicely done it is going to go after one camille Three, Zadar, uh, Camille Green, Zadar, Root Beer. Okay. Uh, root Beer is 18 on the die and 13 on the die. Uh, 21 to Camille and 26 to Zadar. I'm gonna 26, so I'm gonna uncanny dodge. Uh, so that of, haps it. Each of you takes 2d8 plus 5. Oh, 1 and 3. 4 plus 5 is 9 points. 4 to Zadar. Daphne, you've gotten yourself up. You've dusted yourself off. This is round 3. Okay. Um... I just don't have much spell slots left. Ah. I have beaten the shit out of you guys quite well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that you have without us taking a rest. <laughs> if I like look around the room, do I find anything useful? Like a blanket? Inside the room, there was nothing. It was just a fine silt. Probably from those holes in the walls. The repetitive action of the air elemental wore away the stone walls. Now Can I clear up the holes? Of the uh, ivory pipe. I guess. The ivory, remember uh, last Wait, time. There's they, a pipe? Can I just take that down? There was an ivory pipe set in the floor and that mm -hmm. is where the air elemental came from. But of course, it is rotating around it. Much you can find some way to appease the raging elemental. Mm -hmm. Is that like a door I could open? Only one door in, one door out. And remember, that is on a sliding system. And remember, Zadar and Camille are inside 
Wait, aren't I inside? No, you got blown out the door. Oh, so I'm not even in there? Nope. It's only like 12 feet ahead, so. Oh, I guess, so I, can I try to open the door? Door is open. You got knocked through the open door. Through the door. Hmm? Yeah, you're in the main hallway. Um, there's nothing in the hallway? Uh, no, fortunately for you, there is nothing in this hallway right now. Right now. If I call for the dog? You may call for the dog. You are underground and the dog is outside with me and Nina, but you can give it a shot. Drinking margaritas. <laughs> it yeah, might have I'm superior hearing. Call for the assistance of the dog. Oh. Weebles. How, how do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. What is that considered? I'm like yelling. Okay. So yeah, that, that works. So you're yelling, come here, dog. Come here, you fucking canine. Whatever his name is. Like, yeah, whistling. Woo. Weebles is his name. So you're whistling yeah. for Weebles. Fair enough. Uh, Camille, you're up next. Weebles isn't coming. I have no idea. <laughs> How about a firebolt cantrip? Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what the hell? Um... You better hit. I know. That's going to hit me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Go ahead and do your roll. I've run into this situation before. Nine, six, 15. 15 is exactly what you need to hit the air elemental, and it goes in to the center and appears to be fueled by the air, do twice as much damage as you normally would. Uh, oh, thank God. Because <laughs> it would have been twice as much damage to one of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, don't miss. <laughs> Seriously? I mean... I would still take damage, but at least I have resistance to fire damage. True. And you can hellish rebuke her. <laughs> and zip back! <laughs> and so, so that means I get 4d10? Uh, yes, if it's normally 2d10. Okay, so I have 7 and 5 on that one. 12. And three and two. Five. Got it. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay. Um, yeah, following uh, Camille's lead, I'm going to go ahead and fire Firebolt. <laughs> okay. Don't miss. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 16 to hit. 16 hits. Okay. And that is, wow, a whopping womp womp, 10 fire damage. It is going to go after three, five. This time it goes after, ooh, uh, Daphne will be green, root beer again, pours it off. Ooh, that is a nat one. And a nap two. Does it hit itself? It does not hit itself. That's not fair. <laughs> it also does not get to use uh, double damage on melee attacks if it rolls natural 20. That is the end of round three. Daphne, you're up. I ordered a costume when it came in, and I'm really excited. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Did the dog come yet? First world problems, baby. I don't think I'm Weebles has arrived. <laughs> uh, are you looking for Weebles? Yeah, I guess. Give me a perception check. 
16. A dark shadowy figure at the far end of the hallway near the entrance where you came in is seen but does nothing. It appears to be humanoid. Huh. Oh, so is it one of the people? Can I it shout out to them? It, like, it, it ain't cloud hey. giant size. Hey. Shadow hey. figure. <laughs> I'm hey, guys. Happy. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> um, can you help a bit? Also, why did my computer just go playing music? Question mark. I thought you set up professional audio and audio settings. <laughs> uh, the figure does not <laughs> respond. Camille, you're up. Wait, hey, doesn't respond to me? Doesn't respond negatively or positively. Oh, she's all dejected now. Fine. All right. <laughs> well, I was like, intimidate the person. No, I wouldn't. They're, that, they're that. all the way at the other end of the hallway. Oh. Like at the opposite end? Can I just like run towards this person? While you they're can. All... You all right, can. Be... Zadar and uh, Camille, you guys are inside the room. You have no idea that this is going on. Yeah. Yeah. So I abandoned you guys. Bye. How about <laughs> Ray of Frost? Okay. Oh, what the hell? Eight. Zing! Uh, roll a d4. One, or one, it hits the ceiling. Two, it hits you. Three, it hits Zadar. Four, it, it hits you. Take half oh. damage. Awesome. The wind was just too powerful, Forrest. Zadar, it's you're a tornado. Up. It's a tornado. Damn it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Zadar <laughs> casts magic missile and yells for Daphne, knock three times on the damn door. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. She's already running down the hall. I know. Uh, let's see. That will be three bolts. Uh, three points each so nine nine my turn uh daphne is running down the hall that means camille and zadar get it zadar maintains his grip on the root beer nice uh six for zadar nine for camille however add eight 17 to camille and 15 to Zadar. Can I have that with a dodge? <laughs> it, that's to hit you. Oh, to hit me. Okay. Does a 15 hit you? No, it does not. 17. Does a 17 hit Camille? Oh, yeah. Boom! She is squishy. Uh, three, six, and two. So 11 hit points of damage. Ouch. Uh, Daphne, were you sprinting or... Um, Meandering. Like a fast walk. Okay. The shadow goes into the room where you initially saw that ball of light. Ball of what? Light that you guys chased half the time last time. The um, ball of light that moved through the dungeon level. I got it. Yes, I'm going towards it. Okay. Don't go into light. <laughs> I'm going uh, towards the light. Give me an investigation roll. Mm -hmm. That fucking tiefling let you guys out to dry. Yeah, she did. 21. Uh, you see a figure move behind a big tapestry. It was behind the tapestry? What a weirdo. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is like a storage area. There, there's just old furniture, tapestries, carpeting, drapes, shit like that. 
when they go, can I be like, hey, where are you going? I know you can hear me. Sure. You hear nothing back. Camille, you're up. Uh, I'll do magic missile as well. Okay. Uh, one, D4. Two. Are you also firing three missiles? Uh, can I do that? I so. You're seventh level. You mm -hmm. need a shitload more than that. Oh, well, okay then. So two each? Or are you going to reroll for each? Uh, two, two, and four. Uh, so eight damage. That's not bad. Zadar! Okay, uh... Zadar is, uh casting uh, his bonus action, Green Flame Blade, and he's going to make a scimitar strike at the uh, air elemental. Sure. Okay. So, let's see. Sorry. I had so much spell casting to do that I forgot where I was. 25 to hit. That hits. Okay, that is going to be uh, eight points slashing and one d8 of yeah, it looks uh, like my Ajax. fire damage. Uh, that is four Ajax points candy. fire damage. Aw. <laughs> uh, bah, bah, bah. Still just you two. Mm -hmm. What's her name? <gasps> Olive. Oh, Olive. Uh, four on Camille plus eight is 12, but 11 plus eight, 19 to Zadar. Oh my gosh. Ajax and her would have beautiful babies. Uh, is that to hit? Yeah. 19. Yeah, 19 does hit. Boom. Uh, double sevens. Uh, 14 plus five, 19. Uh, can I half it? Dodge it? It's like, why are you holding me? I, I think so, but I'm going to change those rules at some point in time. I'm well, that's how guys... a rogue goes. <laughs> now that's I'm going to make you guys roll for it. So, yeah, I'll let oh, you okay. have it. So, eight. Okay. Cool. Or, no, nine. 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 Yeah. Uh, end of round five. Uh, Daphne, what do you want to do? You're in a room filled with junk. Does anything in here seem useful? Uh, no, it's all just basic generic. Wait, can shit. I just bring a tapestry with me? You can. All right, I'm gonna take a tapestry. When you is it gonna be the tapestry that it was behind that uh, the creature went behind? Sure, if that's the one that's in front of me, whichever one's easiest to get. There's a doorway behind that tapestry. Hmm. Make note of it, and I'm gonna go back <laughs> to where everyone else is with my tapestry. That the, is noble of you. <laughs> the tapestry is quite heavy and will require you to drag it a while. Uh, Camille, you're up. <laughs> Magic missile again. Eight. Zadar. Uh, flaming Scimitar again. Uh, ooh, miss. 12. Miss. Yep. Uh, both of you, uh, it seems to just burst with intensity, and it's going to do its whirlwind attack. Both of you, DC 13 versus strength. Okay. Ooh. 10. Um, yeah. 12. <laughs> Both of you are knocked prone. Ouch. And you take 
right. Uh, 18 hit points of damage as you are smashed into oh, the this wall. this is not going well. This is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. <laughs> New round, Daphne. You're dragging the tapestry <laughs> behind you. All you can hear is bang, crack, lock, smash up ahead. Uh, the silt is just pouring out of the open doorway along with, I don't know, a glove or some kind of article of clothing Socks. that these guys have. Uh, you notice just a plume of dust uh, as you arrive. What do you want to do? Throw the tapestry in there onto the wind. The tapestry is sucked out of your hand, goes flapping in. Uh, Camille, Zadar, D12 against me. Dude, oh. on the <laughs> ground. 12. <laughs> oh, crap. Let's see if I can roll a 12. No, seven. <laughs> seven. Uh, as the tapestry gets caught up into the whirlwind, whoosh, it snaps at each of you, and I'm going to use the red murder hobo die. Boom! Five damage to each of you as you're still upside down from getting smashed into the wall. This is really bad. The tapestry itself cloaks both of you it will take one round to get it off of you i'm just gonna let it lay over me it'll Fair probably enough. protect me from something <laughs> uh, zadar you're up do you want to crawl out from under it or just sit underneath this heavy tapestry <laughs> how far are we from the door <laughs> uh you can't tell you are currently upside down you are inverted <laughs> inverted okay ice man all right um let's see uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it'll take a whole action just to try to get this thing off uh, or strength save just to get this off of me. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you notice that you are not being buffeted by the wind because of the heavy woven fibers. I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Fair enough. Daphne, as you watch your newfound favorite tapestry, <laughs> Uh, you notice that it has covered your two associates, but you also notice the turbine is slowing down. Need more tapestries. I think it's because it can't see us. Possibly. So, Daphne, what do you want to do? Uh... <laughs> Zadar muffily yells out, Look in the door! <laughs> oh, a actually, hang on a second, I forgot. Uh, Daphne, give me a strength save again. Uh, you will be the last victim in this round. 21. Uh, you are not buffeted back. You take half of 3d8. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 11. Uh, you take five more hit points of sandblasting damage. Now you notice that the intensity of the air elemental seems to be dropping dramatically. What am I doing knocking on the door three times? Yeah, you probably you, didn't, you hear you that. didn't hear that. No. You can enter the room and attack or hang back and see what happens. Your choice. Um. Since I'm dying, I'm just gonna hang back. Uh, give me a perception check. Hmm, 12. You notice that before it was counterclockwise. Now it is moving clockwise and sinking down into that tube. Away. Camille, uh, you are still underneath the tapestry. What would you like to do? I'm staying there. Camille opts to stay underneath the tapestry and stop getting sandblasted. Uh, Zadar, what do you want to do? I'm going to try to scooch out from it. Give me a strength check. And then try to make a, 
use my movement stealthily. <laughs> there ain't no stealth that knows where you're at. Uh, thir 13. You barely get the tapestry off of you. Give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, perception is 24. You also notice that instead of counterclockwise, the wind speed is going clockwise oh. <laughs> into the tube. Uh, into the tube? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Daphne and Zadar, strength check DC 8 as the wind speed has dropped substantially. Strength check. Strength check. Strength check. Not with a nine, because <laughs> Zadar is a eight, little exhausted. Eight, eight is all you needed. Okay. Yeah, it, it's not the, okay. Uh, you both survive, you both notice that it is quickly diminishing into the floor. The silt is still flying around, it's kind of hard to see, uh, but the threat appears to be over. Uh, and after another round, you notice that the conical shape is almost completely being absorbed back into the ivory pipe. Hmm. Uh, okay. You notice that Camille has not come up for air. She's probably dead. <laughs> has the the tapestry fallen at this point? Uh, the tapestry is still on top of Camille. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm tiny. Go, There's no way I can get out of it. I'm, I'm going to go and try to move the tapestry to push her out <laughs> sure uh, as you pull the tapestry off uh the wind is no longer causing a problem uh daphne d12 against me nine she's muted <laughs> uh that tapestry got the shit torn out of it <laughs> nice. so it, it, it it is now worthless Okay. I mean, uh, all all three of you are out in the open again. The air elemental is dissolved into the pipe. What do you want to do? Get the GTFO and close that door. <laughs> Daphne and uh, Camille, do you concur? Yes. Yeah. There is no problem in doing that. So I am limping. Take you guys slide we the door, are. use the simple semi latch back to normal. You did not break the Cloud Giants HVAC system. Thank you God. You came close. <laughs> oh, but the system broke us. <laughs> so. Well, look at it this way. We it, it's like they had us come and take all the dust out of their vents. Yeah, we clean we clean the vents for them. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, um, Daphne, do you want to expound anything to them? What? Do you want to tell Whoa. us anything? Oh, yeah. There is a door behind the tapestry and someone went behind it. Maybe that's the missing staff. Possibly. Um, you want to go check it out? I mean, I could really <laughs> use a name. I can't remember my inventory. I think we have spell uh healing potions right i think i don't know i, don't I, I think you got two from the the uh curd okay yeah oh yeah um they see a fly <laughs> i'm like <laughs> daphne how hurt are you <laughs> um 17 out of 49 Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, okay, Camille, how how bad are you? I only get half. What do you mean, only get half? Uh, I am so from forty four. I'm down to like around twenty. Mm. Zadar got his ass handed it to him. He's down to two. Two. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Yeah, okay. so we need to heal his ass. So I, uh, I'll, I'll hand you guys decide who gets this. I'll take one for Hello myself. Hello down there. <laughs> I'll, I'll give him mine. 
or whatever. Somebody, somebody's yelling to you. I'm yelling? You guys can take care of that. <laughs> I'm going to sip on this uh, healing potion. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Uh, 2d4 plus 4? 2d8 plus 4. 2d8 plus 4. Uh, Camille and Daphne, somebody's yelling. Uh, what do you want? Are you okay down there? Give me perception rolls. Oh, boy. 18. Oh, all of us? Or yeah. you know, what uh, am I doing? I totally don't know. Perception? I don't have that in real life. Ooh, oh, shit. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. Uh, Camille and Daphne, uh, that's Meme's voice, the male cloud jar. We're kind of beat to shit, but yes, we are okay. <laughs> well, well, I'm not okay. I'm giant not mess okay. up here. Get up here immediately. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> Shredded stuff. <is> Shredded <laughs> Okay, so I guess we're filing up there. <laughs> you get up to the uh, top floor, and you notice dust is everywhere. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's fibers from the woven tapestry, but the dust, you didn't realize it before, but there are vents in the ceiling, and it is just puffed <laughs> out. Uh, me and Ina are not happy. Zadar is like, okay, I can take care of this, but it's going to take a little while, and I start press the digitating. <laughs> and I tell them, I'm like, oh, I'm not upstairs yet? You aren't tall enough. It's on the ceiling. Oh, oh, I'll be okay. like, wow, where's your meat? I thought you guys had staff. <laughs> Part of our service is blowing out your vents so this is everything that you would have been breathing in had you just <coughs> turned on your hvac system hey but positive thing is we didn't find brown or black mold so you guys are you good. don't want weebles breathing this stuff in uh persuade me camille Twelve. d 12 against me Four. Ah, three. Oh! <laughs> well, uh, this this cleanup's coming out of your, your money. Because I, I see fibers everywhere, so that means somewhere a carpet's ruined. We'll have to check on Where that. was mm -hmm. their carpeting? Daphne's tapestry got shredded no, to no, shit. No, no, I know that. I'm asking them. They don't know. This is the first time they heard the uh, noise. They heard the cacophony of noise inside <laughs> and, and came to check. Uh, they, seen... also, they, they have also noticed a lot of broken brass golems in the main entry, and they want to know what the hell's going on there. Didn't I fix all those? No, you had to fix the fucking wall of the conservatory oh, okay. <laughs> that Zadar shattered, and you did not get that completed, but they have not found that mess oh, yet. God, we just need to get out of here. <laughs> did you find the staff? I think we have a, we have a lead. Well? Uh, Daphne found a hole in the in the wall where there's a hole in the wall in this place <laughs> no it, it was a doorway it, was it a he doorway or was it well it's hole. probably a doorway it's in a basement you know how they have unfinished things it's a hole or a doorway. a doorway you know a hole in the wall is a doorway <laughs> okay. anyway the tapestry was covering it we moved the tapestry i'm only telling them that and uh, there appeared to be uh, a figure that guided Daphne towards that. So we're going to take a look-see. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right, we're on it. <laughs> Guys, come back down into the basement. 
I guess we have to. Yeah, no, we have to. I, I mean, you can ask him for a short rest. Oh, yes. What? Please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wants, look at all who, the animals. Who wants to be 12 <laughs> against me? Uh, I guess Zadar. I say my rolls are kind of crappy, so. Eight. Two. Uh, they will grant you a short rest. Okay. All right. So an hour, right? <laughs> an hour. Okay. So we get lunch. <laughs> lunch it's dinner time (laughs) (laughs) uh let's see all right so how many hit points do we get back in a in an hour uh you can roll your hit dice halved okay all right so So if you have seven hit dice you can roll three okay Sorry, what are you rolling for? Uh, hit points to get them back to heal. Ooh, thanks. Just straight up, or is that because of the potion? Uh, no, this short is a rest. short rest. So, with a short rest, you roll, and he's saying half your hit die. Yeah. All right. Puts me in a better place. Okay, so after your short rest. <coughs> yes, yes, we're going down. Yes, okay. boss, we're on it. <laughs> Can we take Weebles with us? You cannot. Aw. If there's even the possibility of mold down there, I don't want the dog messing around in it. Got it. All right. You got you guys go back down. Yes. Uh, Daphne, are you going to show them where you found it? Yes, I will. It is a doorway. It is not a fucking hole in the wall. Thank you, David. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I, we were busy. I need a cracked foundation here. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. somebody's been doing meth down here. <laughs> yeah, I think you guys got screwed on this deal. <laughs> All a, this damage was here before. There's a Johnson rod out of alignment down here that's going to take some doing. Yeah. Uh, you guys find a doorway into what appears to be, for lack of a better term, a rough hewn tunnel that you find underground. Oh, a hole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You should tell them that. No. <laughs> so we find a tunnel. Okay. We find a tunnel that runs towards the front of the property. All righty. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we'll investigate. Uh, it is a dark tunnel. Okay. Uh, I think I have cast light. Okay. So you cast light. Uh, yep. The tunnel is kind of narrow, kind of rough hewn, not at all what you would expect on a cloud. Uh, more of an underground tunnel, for God's sake, but mm-hmm. there, there's just no impression that you'd get from this. Uh, it goes for about 60 feet and it hangs a hard right. Uh, everybody give me survival check, please. That with a, <laughs> a two. A one. Okay. Uh, okay. None of you notice anything specifically. Uh, so as the tunnel turns to the right, it goes for a very long time, maybe 120 feet, and then it hangs another left. Okay. <laughs> uh, as you venture forward, <clears throat> Who is first in line? Uh, Zadar's up front. Uh, Zadar, uh, you step forward and immediately there ain't no light. Oh. Nice. Did he go somewhere or is my light out? Uh, no, your light is on. Oh, shit. Do we see what happened to him? Well, as you walk forward, you're in darkness. 
Hello, darkness, my old friend. <clears throat> Daphne, with your dark vision, you don't see either one of them ahead of you. Oh, shit. Do you continue forward? Guys, we gotta hold each other's hands. <laughs> Camille and Zadar, you hear her yell. Okay. I we reach out her. for a hand. Can we understand her? Or... You press the button? <laughs> Zadar and Camille... You yep. feel spears on Damn your it. neck. What? And a hand grabs each of you by the shoulder and drags you off. Wow. Okay. Daphne, there is no answer from your friends. Daphne, be careful. Wait, you guys are like... I don't think they would have let us yell. <laughs> Um, I cast detect magic. This whole cloud thing in front of you, this darkness is glowing blue. Uh, Zadar and Camille, you have been thrust up against a wall. You have spear points at either side of your neck and it looks like fat angry dwarves have captured you oh. daphne what do you want to do sorry what was it you don't know shit oh i don't know anything um i don't know i follow the blue as you walk in you also feel spears go to your neck <clears throat> you feel rough hands on you you are yanked through the magical darkness, and all three of you find yourself in a large, it's like 12 feet up. It's a vaulted ceiling, but it looks like you're in a cave. <clears throat> you are surrounded completely by 22 angry looking dwarves. Uh, and they put the spears 23, on 22 skidoo, right? I go, ooh, kinky. How do you guys know what I like? They push the spear in deeper. <laughs> uh, the largest dwarf approaches, mumbles something, and the magical darkness disappears, and uh, what appears to be small rocky bowls on the wall illuminate, uh, flickering, and give off the scent of oil. It's almost like you're in underground. Oh, but you aren't. And then I cast darkness. <laughs> uh, the individual looks at each one of you, and you can tell Me he, right he is foul, uh, angry, and basically an asshole. And Great. His name is going to be Frank. I would say Fred for some reason. I don't know why. I'm going to say Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Harlow Mutt. Harlow Mutt. And he focuses his attention on two, the shortest member of the group, and looks at Camille and says, Hey there, Mom. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? I am Harlow Mutt. Yeah, and? He kind of gives the head nod over and his two associates push the spearhead in a little bit and blood starts to trickle. Oh. Oh, look. We're surrounded. You're taking advantage of us. I'm the smallest person here. Does this make you feel big? <laughs> Take four hit points. <laughs> oh. That's fine. Harlow decides to talk to you directly. He leans in and he has breath Ugh. that is acrid and smells like fish. Oh. Uh, and you don't see any water around here. So you can infer what you want about that. Uh, and he wants to know what the boss wants now. 
which boss are you talking about? Meme? The gin. The gin's gone. He sold this house, or he actually lost it in a card game. <laughs> when right, did this so happen? Recently, I'm we're here inspecting the house for the new owners. They're giants. There's nothing wrong with this house. I know that, but everybody's got to have a home inspection if they get a new house. Well, we want to go home. Where's home? It ain't here in the clouds. But you don't know <clears throat> where your home is? Our home is underground. Hmm. Kind of so, like this. So, kind of. if you had new... Well, you want to know a trick owners. to get down. You just jump off the You don't think you'd want to stay if you had someone that was nicer? How do we know they're nicer? Well, we've talked to them. They yeah. have the cutest puppy. His name's Weebles. D12 against me? Six. Five. I don't much care for dogs. Well, I mean, they they're kind of, you know, amicable because they they're worried about your welfare. We were actually sent to look for you because they were concerned about you. Yeah, when we did the initial inspection, we couldn't we didn't see any staff and they got concerned. So concerned? We aren't staff, we're slaves. Persuade me, Zadar. Oh. Uh, let's see. And I pipe in, I don't think they knew that. Uh, 25. We want higher wages. Higher what, rate. What were you getting paid? Nothing. Okay. You guys need a union. You got it. We want higher wages. We want to get to leave the cloud. And we want other amenities. Dental? Like what? Obviously. <laughs> uh, dental, car insurance, uh, time off, uh, I and think, better working conditions. I think they would agree to all of that. They seem very reasonable. I don't care what you think. I want an answer from them. Okay. Would, would you we'll like negotiate. to come with us to negotiate? You will be my negotiator. <laughs> Why me? Why not you? I mean, don't you want to talk to them directly, face to face? No, I have no interest in discussing anything with giants. But if you're going to work for them, you're going to have to talk to them at some point. I am the king of the Jugar. I do not have to deal with them. Oh, okay. Well, is there somebody, an emissary you would like to send with me? No, you. Okay. He will go with you, but you will do the talking. That's fine. Uh, he, he motions for the spears to be removed from your neck. Uh, you guys start to look around and you notice there are women and children here. Uh, this is like a colony of Jugar. Or you know what? I'm going to call them Duggars. Duggars. Oh. <laughs> Does that mean there's child porn here? Probably. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. That's... Disturbing. All right. Well, I, I grab him and we go back to talk to them. Yeah. Uh, you go back upstairs and uh, who wants to D12 against me this time? Daphne, you haven't done it. D12 against me. <laughs> 12 again. Wow. His... Come on, Daphne, get a 20. <laughs> the dice are hot. <laughs> yeah, on a D12. Sorry, what am I rolling? I know. D12. D12. Oh, the cat's like Ding, 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 ding. Whatever's going on, she's like banging something in the kitchen. I'm like, this sounds dangerous. What's she doing? So, did you roll a d12? Nope. I was focusing on the cat. Roll a 20. I got 22. Right. Just rolling a d12? That's what we said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're rolling up against Frank. <laughs> 
As you guys climb up to the main floor, uh, Harlow looks around. Wait, I didn't think he was going. Yeah, he's yeah, going. he said he's going. We're still he's doing going. the talking. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, you guys do not readily see uh, Meme and Ina. Everybody roll perception checks. Eighteen. Uh, uh, thirteen. Thirteen also. Uh, Camille, you oh, hear screaming and grumbling. That's Uh-oh. not good. It appears to be coming from the library. Uh oh. <sighs> I guess we need to go to the library. I. I kind of lean into Harler. Are you any of you guys uh, engineers or carpenters? <laughs> yep. All right. Okay. Wow. You're doing. You're doing the deal. He's not going to be nice to you guys until the deal is done. Okay. <laughs> uh, as you guys have surmised, they've discovered the broken wall. Yeah, they have. <laughs> when were you going to tell me about this? Uh, as soon as okay. we had a chance. <laughs> There's been some issues. and But we have found your lost staff. It appears that the uh, djinn was treating them horribly and they were Wait slaves. a minute. You didn't tell me there were two. Two what? Cloud giants. Oh. Oh, you there said you weren't going to talk. There are a couple. I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to you. There are I a couple. I said new owners. Plural. Plural. Peebles shows great disdain for the Duggars. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> I need to do it. Weebles. Weebles. I'll give you jerky Love in it. a minute. I tell Harlow. Settle. I talked to the cloud giants. Look, the djinn was an asshole. These people were being kept as slaves. They were being mistreated. They didn't have time off. They live in a hovel. They'd be more than willing to stay if they get X, Y, and Z. And this one's an engineer and he can fix all your shit. Persuade me. Oh. 18. <laughs> Certainly we can come to a reasonable accord. But I want I want to reiterate you don't agree with the keeping of slaves. These are staff. Okay. Thank I just, you. I just want to make you. sure that you understand that and that they hear you say that. Why is the dog here? Because it's bedtime. Um, okay, so Meme and Ina seem to be reasonable on this. They would like the specifics of the deal. Uh, clearly, they have this wall to fucking fix. There's dust everywhere. Hello. Uh, Cleaning the system. Mm, great. So, what specifically are the demands? Well, um, go ahead. No, 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 no. You, you go ahead. You, um, you've been really good with the negotiations. I will assist. <laughs> they wanted better working conditions, time off. They wanted to be able to leave the cloud. They wanted um, dental. They wanted automobiles. No, that was a joke. He oh. threw that in there. Okay. Um, <laughs> in a fair wage. A fair wage. And a vacation package. I think so. Time off. They wanted time, time off. Time off. Hmm? And jewels. We want jewels. Um. And Don't push a lot. <laughs> yeah, they they would kind of like some jewels. I mean, if that could be part of their a salary bonus. package. Yeah. They would like a bonus. Incentive bonus. Yes. No. On which part? The gems? last part. How, 
how about if we switch gems for a bonus? I mean, for good, for excellent I would, I, service. I, I, no, I, 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 yeah, persuade me. <laughs> My persuade rolls are not doing well. So dark can assist. <laughs> Please. 18. Yes. Uh, assist only means she gets advantage. Yeah, so you roll again. Oh. <laughs> 19! Daphne, there's a tapping on your shoulder. Me? Uh, you turn around and it is Arrow Smith. He seems to be eating a blue banana. Uh, <laughs> this must be delicious. He says, you ought to try this. This is You ought great. to try it. I've had three. <laughs> sure, I'll try some. Uh, it tastes like ice cream. Yes, I've always wanted one. <laughs> he, wa he wants to know what's going on. Uh, well. Negotiations. For what? Uh, the the I, staff. I, 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 I. She's talking to Daphne. You're yeah. busy helping. Uh, okay. Neil. <laughs> Salaries and stuff and people. You know how it goes. Yeah, that's stupid stuff. Hey, there's a lot of food in the back. A lot of food in the back? Yeah, a lot of food. And there's a cistern and there's like flowers. We got a nice setup back there. We can get all of our supplies here. Don't we have to ask for permission? Mm-hmm. Okay. So everything we need can be taken from the garden and all that, right? Correct. Okay. That's Daphne Constitution check. All right. Mm, nine. Eh, Blue Java doesn't agree with you. Aww. So, I don't know. What am I supposed to say? I guess it would be great if the spoon doesn't impact me like that. I don't think it's going to impact It's not going to impact you. <laughs> if you watch the Sunday Margu campaign, you know exactly what happens when you eat too much blue java. Uh, you, you are definitely not going to be impacted. <laughs> so. Have you ever seen the short video of the mom and the horse head doing yoga and the kid runs by and says the poop's coming? That's what blue java does. It gives you the runs if you eat too much of it. So back to Camille and Zadar. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you okay? Beam and Ina are. Yeah, they'll they'll do that, but there's going to have to be some concrete rules set out on this. Like okay. what? Well, I mean, if if they're going to be given incentive bonuses, then we need to know what the incentives are. Um, well, that would be for you to set it because it's <clears throat> what you expect of them. Uh, Meme will directly look at Harlow and speak to him. Who wants to be 12 against me? Not me. I'll take a shot. Seven. Ooh. <laughs> Six. Uh... I'm not going to talk to this guy. Harlow says that? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Well, I, I look at Harlow. I say, event if he's given you reasonable terms, so, but, I mean, you're eventually going to have to speak to him. And I, I lean over and I say, you need to not let your prejudice over your past treatment color your perception of this person. I don't see color. <laughs> he's been he's been pretty pretty amicable to us in spite of some of the things that have happened here. So. I mean, look, we're not giants, and he's you know let us come in. He's gonna bargain with us for our rate. So, who wants to roll the D four? Daphne. Daphne D four. Four. 
It is going to take you four days of hardcore oh, negotiation. Boy. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to talk to Aerosmith, and I'm just like, is there any way that we could actually like speed up some repairs that we might be responsible for? Oh, that will be included in the four days. So, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm asking Aerosmith. If we can. Aerosmith says, I, I'm not working here. My ship's fine. I just need supplies. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, the... Uh, who wants to do percentage roll? Oh, <laughs> Please, you do it. The last uh, time I rolled a percentage roll, it didn't go well. Oh, <laughs> Lord. 60. Huh. <laughs> Here's my beautiful kitty. Aw. Weezer. Aww. Tortoiseshell. <laughs> Just so quiet. 60. Odd, low, even high. Three. Low. Uh, because of the repairs, because of the incident with the tapestry, because of the incident with the damage to the HVAC system. You said it wasn't damaged. <sighs> It was hurt. Hell, you knocked down no, 87 out dirty. of 90. It was, it was just dirty. Uh, he he, and Eno will give you 60% of the money they said. Uh, so that would be... But that's uh, in, like, supplies, though. No, no, no and, it and was they will give you supplies. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, who, who wants to D12 against me for something else? That's that me. seems fair. So I will. Six. Nine. Fair enough. The actual home inspectors Fuck. have not yet arrived in the <laughs> four days. Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> so uh, you will get 60%. So uh, that will be uh, 3,000 gold, I believe. Because okay. it was 5,000. Uh, and you will be allowed to take. Uh, as many supplies as you need, because obviously these are giant supplies, so mm -hmm. you guys aren't going to eat that much. Uh, he will warn you that there are aggressive plants, which you have already figured out. Yes. Uh, in the four days, you will be granted access to one of the spare bedrooms where you guys will sleep. Thank uh, God. Harlow and his contingent, uh, because each day he will bring a few more people up with him. Uh, by the end of day four, Harlow himself will be discussing things uh, with me uh, on a generally level playing field. Nice. Uh, it will appear that Meme and Eno will treat the drugger with respect. Uh, somebody else be 12 against me. I will. Three. Is that it? Three. Uh, two Pegasi and a Slay, some kind of moving company, has arrived with their stuff. Oh, nice. wow. Okay. Instead of two men in a truck, it's two Pegasi and a Slay. Two Pegasi and a Slay. Uh, and and slay. that will be on day three. Uh, so they will begin the process of moving in. Uh, in your downtime, you may assist them. The drugger will... Uh, the Duggars will also help them move in. Uh, by the end of day four, Camille, your role will be substantially lessened as Harlow and Neem take over the reins and hammer out the final details. Uh, you'll notice that both Daphne and Aerosmith, uh, the Blue Java, while tasty, did not uh, sit well with them. They're uh, shitting Daphne, themselves, aren't they? Daphne, because these are all giant sized toilets, you don't get too shit in them. Uh, so, uh, you didn't get the severe runs like another NPC did, but you did not agree. Bad enough. <laughs> uh, you will have your choice of fruits and vegetables as well as fresh water from the cistern. In the back, there are beautiful gardens, uh, aka French gardens. Uh, and you will have a generally peaceful time 
uh, the Drugar will explain everything that you dealt with, uh, including the Kowal, the Furnace, aka the Fire Elemental, mm-hmm. the HVAC System, aka the Air Elemental. They will also explain that a Will O Wisp uh, was the Strange Light. They have done the repairs on the animated armor, and those things are now functional again. Uh, they have also made some modifications with the express written consent of Major League Baseball and uh, Aerosmith to your vehicle to make it aerodynamically superior. Nice. Every, mm-hmm. Everybody roll a straight up D20. <clears throat> Seven uh 13. i also wrote thir- bleh, rolled 13 should i roll again zadara and daphne re-roll <laughs> worse nine 12. uh daphne you find a map of the general area including a spot marked uh grand academy Ooh. Mark White? Grand Academy. Okay. Fancy. Now I know where to go, maybe. So, after the conclusion of four days, it appears as though the Duggars have hammered out a deal. Everybody is happy. You guys are given 3,000 gold pieces worth of platinum, and you are able to take the supplies that are needed. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we thank them and I say goodbye to Weebles and give him a kiss. Aww. Yeah. Weebles, as always, appreciates you. Andy has grown fond of Charlotte. So uh, Aww, nice. There there appears to be a symbiosis now. Nice. Uh, nice. As you guys head off, uh Daphne, you found it. You found the map? Mm-hmm. Uh, Aerosmith doesn't believe that this map is accurate. Do you want to trust the map or do you want to trust Aerosmith? Um, trust the map. I'll trust the map. Fair enough. Uh, he shakes his head and says, okay, that's fine. He also wants a cut of the reward. Uh, how how much of a deviation between where Aerosmith thinks the Academy is and the map, say? I mean, how much deviation is there? He thinks it is flipped. That's a big deviation. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> well, the deviation would be about 500 miles. Well, and he will walk 500 miles and he will walk 500 500 more (laughs) (laughs) just to beat a man who walked a thousand miles to the Grand Academy. That's right. (laughs) Well, you are flying. Mm -hmm. That's true. So, but the map would have some type of Road's sure. compass on it mm-hmm. that would tell you. Mm-hmm. Which one? Uh, the, the the markings are there. Everything looks in order, but Aerosmith thinks that it is reversed. Okay, so I ask Aerosmith, why do you think it's reversed? Because I think we need to go left. Why do you the- think that? Because that's the direction I was told to go. Who told you? Um, your old boss. Fomunda. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, this is confounding. Yeah. And we've always trust Fomunda. But I... There it is. How long ago did he tell you this? When I left. He said, just keep going northeast or northwest. Yeah, northwest. Yeah, he told me to go northwest. <laughs> okay, I, I think we should go with the map. 
That's fine. Uh, it's up for a vote, though. Is make sure, way, let's like, make sure we got enough supplies to compensate if for each we're way. off. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I, I mean, he'll whip out a metal compass and he'll do this. And he goes, we got enough supplies to reach either one, but I think we're going in the wrong direction. Well, life's adventure, Aerosmith, and you get to test out all the new improvements to your airship. You're paying him, so. Okay. He wants a cut, Kel. Uh, Was that the agreement beforehand? That's what it is now. Nice. <laughs> he wants 750 gold worth. We could just slit his throat and take his ship. <laughs> uh, none of you are pilots. <laughs> Remember so, the last fine. time it got piloted was uh, Mortimer. Fine. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah. I mean... Are there any small children here? There are not. They keep the children away from you guys. Because <laughs> I need to laugh. Okay. So we're following the map? What do you guys think? Yeah. All sure. Time. Unless, like, we're reading the map wrong or something. The know. map is is literally, in his opinion, flipped. But he can't remember which way Fomunda told him to go. He's almost certain it's northwest. Okay. Now, with the map, is there any kind of nomenclature or, you know, anything like that to where we can see if there's any writing that it's transposed? Or now, the map appears to be incomplete. Ah. Okay. Awesome. Hmm. Well, I'm perplexed, but I mean, it's up to you guys. You guys want to follow the map or yeah, follow or not? Me. It's I mean, like, unless, no, follow the map. I don't want to overthink it. I feel like overthinking it, it's like. What do you think, Wee's? Wee says, follow the map. <clears throat> okay, following the map. After three days of travel, uh, Aerosmith begins a slow descent out of the clouds so he can get a good bearing mm -hmm. and screams out, Land Ho! Hmm. Okay. As you guys move about, the new and improved and elongated, it's almost like a small warship now. Nice. Instead of just the bucket. Um, you can see land uh, through misty waters, uh, and it appears as though conifer trees are approaching. Uh, and with supplies dwindling, uh, he continues to lower the elevation and you look <clears throat> and, and you signed us. look yeah. at not an island per se and you don't see any structures so <laughs> so awesome. we found a continent <laughs> uh, was there any indication of that on the map with the direction we were headed. Inverted. One was the Grand Academy, which was a small island. The mm -hmm. other was a, not an island, but a big island, not like Australia, but eh, smaller. Right. And it's called Freckland. Oh, Is there we've any, heard of this place before. Um, our our Canna check. Damn it. Ooh. Uh, Zadar hits a 22. Daphne? What am I rolling for? 15. Arcana? Eighteen. 
Zadar, Daphne, and Camille. Freckland is a cold land in the North mm. Sea. Daphne and Zadar. Ah, something about boss giants. Yeah, they Can wanted us to hunt. That's the people that wanted us to hunt that white terror. Weren't they from Freckland? I believe so. So we're still doing the grand tour from mm. Cacophony. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it's up to you guys. Do we want to land in Freckland or do we want to... Well, oh, you're 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 gonna land in Freckland. Okay, you're out of food. Wow. Okay, I thought we Sweet. had enough food for there and back. Right. <laughs> no. Three you days. Lied. You lied. Uh, you said we had enough for there and back. No, you get yeah. there. Okay. You aren't you aren't going back there anyway. No, you said like, oh, either here or them. there. You've got enough food. Well, since we're here in Freckland, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to learn uh, to scavenge for supplies. That's fine. Or just go scurvy. Weiss. You know, I, what was the white terror? Because I'm not finding it. Frank. Or, sorry, Steve. Steve is the white terror. <laughs> no, uh, no, the white shadow. One of them... One of the groups that were interested in us were from Freckland, and there was uh, the Berserkers, like a... Oric the Stinky. Yeah, yeah. Is that the one whose food I ate? Yes, and he smells of lilac. Yes, which doesn't make sense to his name. Uh... He was hot. Yeah, you guys dealt with Oric the Stinky. Uh, he entered eating a leg of mutton mm -hmm. during the exit interview. His overall appearance is dirty, but he smells of lilac, which doesn't make sense. He mm. put his deerskin boots up on the table and continued to eat his meat while looking at each of you. After a few minutes, he picked his teeth and wiped residue off his legging onto his leggings after announcing that he liked you guys. Uh, he would like for you to come to his land, Freckland, and deal with the White Death. I think we could kill that son of a bitch. Yes, but, that was where I wanted to go initially. But since you don't know where he lives, you don't know if you're close or far. Huh. Uh, the reward was he would share the skin of the creature, which is believed to grant magical powers. Ooh. After that, uh, you guys could go to the ruins of the elders and hunt for magical weapons. Spoiler alert, had you listened to uh, Aerosmith, he would have directed you yeah, safely. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Grand Academy, Mortimer JC, <laughs> fucking everybody, blah, blah, blah. But the Berserkers uh, was on your short list. Yes, it was. Yeah. So as you land, list. Who wants to D12 against me, which is kind of important? Not me. <clears throat> Anyone? What it, What are we rolling again? Daphne. D12. Fine. Dun, 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 Twelve. Uh, as you drift out of the clouds, the cold mist rises, giving you a chill. However, you notice tendrils of smoke uh, weaving in and out of the conifers. Uh, these are Vegas miles, so oh, Aerosmith Lord. is not certain he can make it to the tendrils, which seem to be in the middle of a thick forest. Who wants to roll survival check for me and everybody? I tell Aerosmith, suck it up and make it work. Mm -hmm. uh, Zadar will. Uh, 19. Uh, he heads for the tendrils of smoke and begins the descent at a more rapid pace. The cold air is not conducive to his hot air balloon, and as much as he tries, uh, he cannot keep the ship afloat. 
uh, and he begins to crash and do something. I am killing Please. you! Somebody roll a d4. I will. All right. Three. You are about three hours away from the tendrils of smoke, as I stated earlier. It is Vegas Miles. He has crash landed safely in a small clearing. As you guys look around, you are surrounded by very tall pine trees. You might be in Georgia. Uh, there's also frost on them. Uh, the air is cold. It's crisp. And every time you speak, uh, cold air clouds out. There is no snow currently, but you all realize the winter season is coming close. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be the warm cacophony waters. You are in Freckland and with something called the White Death. Wow. We're going to die. So, <laughs> uh, as you guys head off towards the smoke, I assume, mm -hmm. are you taking Aerosmith. Well, what else would he do? Guard try the to, boat? Try to repair his craft. Does he want to stay there and repair his boat? D12 against me? 12. He wants you guys to stay because it's getting dark and it's going to be a cold night unless he can start a fire. Um, We'll stay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll Let's listen tonight. to Aerosmith now. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, you guys stare or stay. Who mm -hmm. wants to do a survival check to check the perimeter? Uh, Zadar will. Uh, 20, not natural. Very nice. Uh, you've scouted out the area, the clearing. It's a clearing, and you're in the middle of fucking Freckland, so it's going to be a little <laughs> bit rough. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you also hear howling. Mm. Mm. Did um, Like a wolf? Yep. Did Aerosmith have, like, any, like, high-altitude clothing and stuff like that? Ah, woo! Yes, not winter. Not winter, okay. All right. So, are you guys going to form watches? Yeah, Zadar's. Yeah. Who's first? Who's second? Who's third? I'll go first. Who's I'll second? Second. Zadar is last. The yeah, dice says fair. five. Just before daybreak, Zadar initiative. Oh. Done. Uh, 23 for initiative. Something is moving around on the perimeter. Okay. Do you have dark vision? No. <laughs> uh, sun is starting to break, but again, the, the high conifer trees are obscuring the view. Yeah, they're you shadows. Can, yeah. You can hear something moving, and it's moving closer and closer before it springs out of the shadows at you, it looks like a white wolf. You're up first. Hmm. Okay. Well. Here, right. doggy doggy. I don't think doggy doggy's gonna be me. I have jerky. <laughs> uh okay. And so hate to damage this majestic animal. <laughs> it's going to fucking eat you. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, with that uh, magic missile. Okay. So. Two. Three. Okay. Uh, that is six plus two. Eight points of force damage. Fair enough. Uh, I will be rolling a d4 if it rolls one. Something really bad happens. 
four. Uh, it leaps and attempts to bite you. Uh, evasion. Uh, 17. Get ya. Uh, 17 is my uh, AC. So you are going to take 8 plus 4, 12 hit points, and give me a strength save. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, 11 for a strength save. It knocks you prone. Uh, Daphne and uh, Camille perception check because Zanar didn't yell for you to wake up. Two. Ha! Sound asleep. Wow. <laughs> Zanar yells now. <laughs> Daphne? Twelve. Uh, yeah, you, you hear something going on, so you'll wake up. So give me your initiative roll for this next round. Uh, wow, six. Huh. Uh, new round, Zadar, you've been knocked prone. What do you want to do? Oh, um, yeah, I guess I have to use my action to roll and get up and pull my scimitar. There you go. The Winter Wolf. One. <laughs> uh, the Zadar. Of the Winter Wolf. Zadar Daphne rolled deck save <clears throat> because it emits a cold cone of frost. Oh, son you. of a bitch. Far, frost 15. Wolf. 15 gets you half. Zadar has to do a deck save. Yep. Okay. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, 22. Uh, you will also get half, which is fortuitous for both of you because it's 21. Each of you take 10 cold damage. Jeez. Yeah, uh, these things don't play around. Wait, did we ever, like, sleep and fully heal? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that trip lasted three days. Plus, you were uh, <laughs> there just... doing negotiations for four. But Zadar has taken a lot of damage. <laughs> oh my god, my cat's playing with her tail. Nice. Daphne, you are up. All right. Um... Wait, she's tiefling, isn't she? No, she's not resistant to cold. No, <laughs> just, just the opposite. <laughs> well, <Yeah. laughs> sorry. No. Oh, Zadar does. He took a Eldritch Adept and Devil Sight as his feet. So, yeah, but uh, I won't bring that up. I just got to remember he does have Devil Sight. So. Okay. What you doing, Daphne? Uh... <laughs> I guess. Sorry. Me. I'm going to cast Channel of Divinity for Sacred Weapon. Okay. Do I still get to attack once or no? I think with that, you get a bonus action. Um, right. All right. Then I'll attack. Instead? Oh, it would be that or the other? Uh, yeah, unless you got a bonus attack. I guess it's act tax per action too, and then I don't know. I never understand this. I'll give it to you. Go ahead. All right. I mean, twenty six to hit. Yep, easily. All right. Eat the image. Fair enough. Uh, Camille, give me a survival check. Let's see if you wake up. Oh Lord. Oh, I guess I should have yelled to wake you up. Fifteen. Uh, odd, you were Big Spoon. Even, you were Little Spoon. Eight, you were Big Spooning. 
<laughs> Aerosmith for body heat. <laughs> nice. But you wake up to hear the yelling. Go ahead and give me initiative. Nine. And by the way, those were not pillows, a.k.a. John Candy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, new round, Zadar, you're up first. Okay. Uh, alrighty. Uh, Zadar will, um, yeah. Since, uh, the wolf is engaged with Daphne too, does sneak attack apply to him? Because, uh, he's, he's got an ally. Okay. Alright. Well, uh. Yeah, because a got... breath weapon, both of you. Okay. Uh, he's gonna flame strike the wolf with the scimitar. Sure. Okay. When really he should be keeping as far away from this thing <laughs> as possible. Uh, let's see. Uh, 21 to hit. Hits. Okay. Uh, that is eight slashing. Followed by 1d8 fire. Eight, eight additional points of fire damage. Got it. Uh, next up is the wolf. Uh, it's going to bite. Odds uh, that are even Daphne. Or Daphne it goes for the bite. Five plus six is 11. It misses with the bite. Uh, Camille, you have managed to extricate yourself from the spooning. Your turn. Are we still fighting against the wolf? Mm -hmm. Making a friend. Has anyone attempted to talk to it? Uh, no, this ain't fight, talking. <laughs> the fight's on and it's down 32 hit points already. So okay. you, can, you can talk to it if you want. No, that's okay. You can talk to a rabid dog if you want. Uh, eight? Eight's not going to do shit. What were you trying to do? Well, to hit. With? Anything. Oh, yeah. No, not even close. Okay. Uh, Daphne, you're up. Okay. I... I feel sorry for it, though. Attacking it? Yeah. Weiss! Alright. Sorry, but I'm going to attack it twice. So... A 12 and 22. 22 hits. Okay. And six damage. Six. Whatever it is. New round. Zadar. Uh, flaming scimitar again. Uh, 21 to hit. Yep. Uh, that is uh, six points of slashing followed by uh, five points of fire. Very good. Two gonna bite again. Three of you are in combat. Three going after Zadar. Okay. Uh, Ten plus six, sixteen. Uh, misses. Uh, Camille, you're up. Nine. Miss Daphne, you're up. Stick to the spells, Camille. <laughs> Don't be mean. I'm not. You are not a melee fighter. I know. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Daphne. All right. I you're will... doing this. <laughs> um, um, do you... 17 and 24. Both hit. You're hacking the shit out of this thing. That thing's gonna <laughs> Seven be Seven damage and nine damage. Yes. 
It is not looking hot. Round four. Zanar. Okay. Uh, la la. Uh, same thing. Uh, let's see. Scimitar attack. Let's see. That is going to be a uh, a miss. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve misses. Uh, wolf. One. It is going to catch two, Camille. And three, Zadar. Why can't it hit itself? No, the one through four is determining how it attacks. I don't care. That's not an attack roll. I don't uh, care. You guys need to roll dexterity save. All of us? No, you're out of its uh, blast. Uh, let's see. Uh, seven. You're taking full. Uh, 23. You're taking half. Okay. <laughs> 15 and 7. 15 damage to Camille, 7 to Zadar. Wow. Okay. Uh, Cam Camille, your attack. Mm. Okay, let's do magic missile. There you go. Uh, it is not looking so hot at all. Daphne, you're up. All right. So 19 and 12. Uh, 19 hits. And 8 damage. Enough to kill it. Woo! The Winter Wolf dies. Unfortunately, the pelt is pretty hacked up. However... <laughs> If you want to try an animal handling to see if you can scavenge some of it. Yeah. yeah. Camille's short, so yeah, there might be enough there for a cloak. Right, right. <laughs> or shoes. Do animal handling? <laughs> Are we well, all doing who, it? No, who wants to roll the animal handling? Um, I only have a plus one, so. Same. Yeah, uh, Zadar has a plus two. He rolls, um, let's see, uh, 16. Close. Uh, you get most of it. So, okay. Uh, you can have a cloak or cloak uh, for Camille or boots for anybody. I'll take boots uh, for yourself. I'm worried about you, so I'll make a cloak for Camille. <laughs> the, the cloak, the cloak can be immediate. The boots would have to be fashion. Uh, everybody, perception. Seventeen. Uh, eighteen for Zadar. Uh, <laughs> Zadar and Camille. There's an old woman in the tree line. Oh, holding a staff. Well, that's not good. Or maybe it is. Hello, Grandma. Give me a persuasion. Good Lord. You can do it. <laughs> And 12. She stares at you. And that is a good place to stop for the night. Aw. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Daphne, a.k.a. Caitlin, what'd you think? Good. Um, I, 
always feel bad when we have to kill like dogs specifically. I don't know. Yeah. This thing is gonna kill like, you and eat you. I'd yeah. rather I'd rather just make them our pet. Thank or you. <laughs> I'm like, why don't we have a druid so someone can do this? Well, you know what? Maybe it's the old lady's pet and she's gonna be pissed. Exactly. Yeah. Also, uh, the cat the pets have been wild tonight. I don't know what's going on with them. Agreed. Uh, Zadar, aka David, what'd you think? It was good, but Zadar was getting a crap beat out of him to or her tonight. <laughs> hey man, seventh level. Suck yeah. it up, Buttercup. I know. I know. Uh, finally, Carrie, what'd you think? Aw, I like Olive. Olive. That's all she can focus on meow. right now. Um, <laughs> She's got cat brain. Uh, it was good. Um, I was kind of frustrated with the whole inspector crap. Oh, that's done. That's in the books. Thank God, that's over with. Um, but yeah, I that like this. Almost died. this is good. <laughs> yeah, I almost Zadar, died. Zadar almost died. <laughs> uh, and you know what? Like I said, uh, had you guys listened to, um. Uh, Aerosmith, uh, you would be sipping wine and eating cheese with Mortimer, with Mortimer. J. Sneed. Instead, you're freezing your nuts off. <laughs> so that's okay. Camille might get some. You never know. That's true. I mean, uh, yeah, you get to see Captain, your boyfriend, Captain Stinky. There, you know, he, that he smells might. like lilacs, and that's I right. like lilacs. Why well, and. Looking around, this land doesn't have too many lilacs, so it must be his diet. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Cacophony Edition. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did presenting it for you. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, like a phone case or a duvet cover or a shower curtain, yes, we have all three of those things, yes. uh, hit our shop. If you're looking, if you're in the market for customized dice like these, uh, hit up at Pirate Dog Dice. Tell them what you want. See if they can go ahead and make it. Uh, this game <laughs> didn't stink and it doesn't smell like lilacs, but you know what? Adventure Sense probably has uh, at least two of those smells. Future uh, nice. sewers off the top of my head. So check out at oddfishgames.com uh, for that. They also have a writing system so you can write much more better, goodish, uh, and soon. Uh, just like these guys, uh, How to RPG with the Cat is on tap for a Kickstarter. Uh, Saturday, we have our one shot. So if you ever want to be in a one shot or on the talk show on Tuesdays, I believe we have Iron DM up this Tuesday. Mm -hmm. M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on the show. We got three brand new Murder Hobos Saturday and Heidi. So we'll have a lot of Kyle jokes. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you for joining us. We will hopefully see you on Saturday. Dating game, kiss and wave, boys and girls. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Uh,